right now I'm at Hebgen Lake, and for this video I'm going to be diving some ruins from the Hebgen Lake earthquake. I'm at kind of a historical site, and there's a message board here, and some of these pictures are really what I'm interested in. Uh, this shows the old highway, which I'm on right now, and a section of the, of the highway that collapsed into the lake during the earthquake. And right here you can see the roof of a house that was up on the hill and collapsed into the lake during that earthquake, and, and that's now completely submerged. There's another picture of it right here. It kind of shows it better from another angle. But that's the area. The old highway kind of used to go right across here, but it all collapsed, and that house collapsed into the water. Um, so that picture, that first picture that we were looking at, is looking back at us from down there. This is the old highway. And right up there is the section of highway that collapsed. But yeah, I'm gonna go and dive this area and see if I can find the ruins of this house right there.
was probably one of the coolest dives I've ever done. Besides maybe Costa Rica, that was pretty darn awesome. Everything was right where I expected it to be. There wasn't quite as much stuff as I thought there was be, would be. I'm not sure where all the like actual house remnants were because I only saw a small amount of wood. And just based on how the bottom was shaped, there was kind of a depression at the bottom of that bank. So they couldn't have slid down further. So there might have been some kind of cleanup crew that came through at some point, but there was still quite a bit of wood. Maybe the rest just rotted away, but that box, that big box thing I was looking at was, was a refrigerator. That was kind of cool. And then there was a bunch of stuff just laying around, as you guys saw. The stuff I brought up is right here. Didn't bring that much stuff up. This thing, I don't know what it is. It has like a depression along the edge. So I think it may be like a, I don't know. We have like this grain, this hand crank grain grinder. And it has a wheel similar to that, and that has a space for a belt or something like that. I don't know what it's for, but I think it looks super cool. It's all rusted up. But yeah, somebody can leave a comment if they think they know what that is. Just a random jar, this little container. I might just look through that to see. I'm, I'm guessing all that's just mud. Another little jar. And a pot. And this shoe. <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty darn big shoe, but I, I kind of forgot how big, how much bigger things look when you're underwater. When I first grabbed that, holy cow, it looked like the biggest shoe I'd ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and I have some big feet, so I would know. But, yeah. Still pretty cool. All kinds of stuff down there. It'd definitely be worth, it'd definitely be worth another trip going down there again, just to kind of sift through stuff, just because the visibility. I kept kicking up dust. I'm pretty bad at, at keeping the keeping the silt down, but there's definitely probably a lot more stuff that I missed just because I kept kicking silt up, and there might be another area full of stuff that I just didn't look enough for. But yeah, thanks for watching. I th hope you thought this video was as cool as I I thought doing it was. And uh, if you liked the video, leave a like or a comment, and subscribe if you want to see more diving videos.